Hey guys, what's going on? I'm here with a miscellaneous pickup video. So what we have here, we have a DMC title, a deep discount title that was back ordered for a long time, an Amazon title, an Amazon wish list package, and a trade with my buddy, Jeff Hammer, collecting with Hammer. I'll put a link to his channel down below. Oh, I just lost the note that's over here. So we're gonna dive right in guys. I have very little space left on my phone. So we're gonna to try to keep this video to like under 10 minutes. That is the goal. So first up, what did I order from DMC? Well, what I ordered from DMC was my last committed title. So I've now fulfilled my commitment. I don't have to buy anything else from DMC. Uh, I get a bigger percentage off because I'm a VIP member. So what came from them? Something that was a bit of a disappointment when I got it because there was no slip cover, but then I found out, is there anything else in there? I found out that they weren't um, using slip covers for this release and it's already been opened because the digital is drawn from it. And that is Disney Pixar's Onward, a movie I loved so much. Uh, and they also sent along, they've been doing like bonus things in there. They sent along a couple of sticker patches as well as, that's a receipt with my address, lithograph. So this was my last required title to buy from Disney Movie Club. I love Disney Movie Club. I'm still gonna stay a member. I'm not gonna cancel it. I'm just gonna keep it and decline the feature titles unless something jumps out at me. Hopefully some more exclusives are coming. Although with Disney Movie Club, the exclusives have seemingly stopped, not Disney Movie Club, Disney Plus. So. We got Onward, uh, like I said, fantastic movie, really enjoyed it. I'll watch it on 4K at some point. <clears throat> Next up is from Deep Discount. Uh, as I mentioned in a previous video, I bought Thrashin as part of a buy one get one free sale of Olive Films on Deep Discount. And then this was available and all of a sudden it got back ordered. So I finally just got this like weeks and weeks after my initial order. Um, but it finally came and it completes the uh, two movie set. These movies, my sister and I used to watch all the time when we were younger. So they have a special place in my heart, nostalgia for me. Um, this is from 1991, <clears throat> stars William Ragsdale, Terry Kaiser, Stuart Pankin, uh, Misha Taylor, and Christy Swanson, and that is Mannequin 2 on the move. Like I said, I own the first Mannequin with Andrew McCarthy and Kim Cattrall. Uh, and now I own the sequel. This was one that was on like Prism. Or was it Prism? When we were kids a lot. And my sister Nicole and I would watch this all the time. So Mannequin 2 on the move. Looking forward to revisiting the Mannequin films. Speaking of revisiting. We've been asking for this movie on Blu-ray for so long. And then news came out that the lead of the movie was doing interviews. It looked like it was coming to Blu-ray. It came to Blu-ray and uh, I was a bit worried because this movie uh, got delayed when it, that was a terrible sauce. It got delayed in a way where I ordered it and I don't think it came to like two or three weeks after it released. A lot of people weren't getting theirs. I got it. It's secured, it is on Blu-ray. I can finally get rid of my DVD copy, which I've had for a while now. And that is just one of the guys on Blu-ray. If you guys have not seen this movie, just one of the guys is outstanding. It is a movie about uh, Joyce Heiser, who plays Terry, uh, is like a newspaper writer. And she basically goes undercover at a school, she's like a very, uh, she's a very attractive woman. She goes to a school pretending to be a boy. Her buddy's like a very sexist pig. Uh, William Zabka's in it, the bully from Karate Kid. He plays Greg, uh, her brother's buddy. But it is like a PG-13 comedy, a fantastic nude scene. Shh, don't tell anybody. Um, but just a really funny movie, a classic 80s comedy that flies under the radar. like. Everybody mentions Breakfast Club and Weird Science and 16 Candles and all these big like 80s teen movies, but just one of the guys like kind of flies under the radar and this is a blast. This movie is so much fun. Glad to finally own that on Blu-ray, upgrading my DVD. 
I'm gonna pick this up because it's driving me crazy. It fell on the ground. So next we're gonna do uh, this. I got a message from Strumdog who uh, pops in the live streams, leaves comments on my video. Uh, he sent me a message on Blu-ray.com. He said, Rick, uh, have something coming to you from your Amazon wish list. Thank you for the content. It's very much appreciated. When you guys send me stuff, like I know I sound like a broken record, but it is amazing to me that me, just a movie collector who's obsessed with physical media, obsessed with collecting, that somebody would, you know, spend some money and send me something or even just send me something that they own in their collection. It's really flattering to me. It really means a lot to me. I really like, I'm genuinely very appreciative, appreciative, appreciative. What the heck? So, Strumdog sends us along. Um, oh man. So, is there a note? There's a piece of packing tape. Oh, there's a note. It says, <laughs> how do I want to do this? Because it gives away what it is. I'll edit it a little. Um, Hi, Rick. I have no idea who blank is, but you put these on your wish list. So here, I've been a subscriber from the start. Thank you very much, guys. We're going on, this July will be three years that I've been doing YouTube, which is wild. I like three years in July. Um, from the start, I really enjoy your videos and streams. Take care, buddy. The real strum dog, S-T-R-U-M-D-O-G-G -G at Blu-ray.com. So go, if you guys are on Blu-ray.com, find strum dog, send him a friend request. <coughs> There was somebody in a live stream, it was a running joke between him and I, that was Stromdog, but it was S-T-R-O-H-M-D-O-G-G. -G. And he goes, who is that? They're trying to be me. But uh, yeah, so I added this to my, wa my wish list because this was a show I loved as a like, man, this was probably on when I was like in my late teens. Hmm. Hold on. I want to say this was what, like my late teens, early tw early 20s. Man, it doesn't have a date. But it is the two seasons that were ever released of it on DVD. The Andy Milanakis Show. Uh, if you guys don't know, this is Andy Milanakis. If you guys watch Alex Leba's channel, a lot of people say Alex Leba looks like Andy Milanakis. I see similarities, don't you guys? Um, but he had a very catchy theme song on the beginning. It was like a weird sketch show, definitely different humor, not like standard humor. Um, looks like there's guest stars, Paul Wall, Seth Green, Mike Jones, Nick Cannon, Jimmy Kimmel in season two, uh, Black Eyed Peas, Little John, Snoop Dogg. So this is probably like early 2000s. So like I said, late Late, like probably between the ages of like 17 and 21, this came out and I loved this show, but I haven't watched it in probably close to 20 years. So I'm very curious. Does this hold up? Is it just weird? Is it cringe? I'm sure it's all of the above, but thank you to Strumdog for sending over Andy Milanaka's show seasons one and two. Definitely need to dive back into these and see Oh man, the theme song was, it's my show, I'm Andy Milanakis. I'm Shmandy Shmoe Shmakis. But yeah, Andy Milanakis show, a weird thing. Search him on YouTube, I'm sure he has stuff on there. Last but not least, I did a trade with Collecting with uh, Hammer, Jeff. He, um, he wanted two Blu-rays I had, and uh, he sent me over photos of stuff he had to trade. And I think I picked out a DVD or two DVDs and a Blu-ray. Oh, look at this. Yep, two DVDs and a Blu-ray. He does such a good job. He, like, packs stuff in cardboard and then puts it in a in a package so it's double protected. I just dropped something. So first up is a Disney, uh, Disney Channel original movie. I love the show. I uh, love the main actor of the show. You guys have heard me rant and rave about him before, but it is the Even Stevens movie. I uh, definitely wanted to own this on physical. I know it's on Disney Plus. All the shows on Disney Plus. I actually watched some of it with RJ. Forgot how good the show was. You got, you know, Shia LaBeouf, uh, Beans, uh, Christy Carlson, Romano, who plays his sister. 
So the Even Stevens movie added that to the collection. A documentary about bowling. This was a Dollar Tree title. Uh, I just missed out on. I really like this movie because I used to bowl all the time when I was a kid. My dad owned a bowling alley. Was obsessed with bowling, uh, pro bowling. So it is a lead of Ordinary Gentleman. Kind of a funny title for a movie about bowling. But I enjoy this movie a lot. And then this just had me intrigued um, because Timothy Chalamet is in it. Uh, it's a Shout Factory IFC Midnight movie that I don't know much about of uh, about it. It's called One and Two. Let me know, guys. Any good? Like, I saw Timothy Chalamet. I saw Shout Factory. I gave it a shot. And that's it, guys. That is the miscellaneous uh, unboxing video. Once again, Disney Movie Club, uh, Deep Discount, Amazon, Strumdog, thank you for the Amazon wishlist stuff, and a trade with Jeff Hammer, collecting with Hammer. <clears throat> so be sure, I'm going to put a link to Jeff's channel down below. Um, also, thank you to Strumdog again. It's really much appreciated. Uh, and that's it, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys don't already. Leave comments down below. I will be sure to try to interact with as many comments as possible. Also, check out the description box down below where you can find links to my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Twitter? That sounded weird. Twitter. Man, that sounded weird when I said it. I'm delirious. This is like my seventh video. I'm done recording after this. Uh, besides all that stuff, you can find um, totally just blanked. My eBay page, my letterbox where I rate and review all the movies I watch. My Blu-ray.com profile, my Amazon wish list, um, email address, and uh, PO box address. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying these videos. As always, until next time, guys, who's down to movie?